My name is Professor Muriel Moore Collier and I'm the Dean of the School of Equine Management and Science at the Royal Agricultural University in Sarancester. Ooh, the difference between soaking and steaming, that's I would say chalk and cheese. The, um, all that soaking will do to your hay, if you're hoping to get something positive out of it, is that it will dampen down the respirable particles. But soaking does a lot of negative things to your hay. Soaking will cause um, a tremendous increase in bacteria. And some of our um, workers found that between 1.5 and 5 fold increase in bacteria. When you steam, you also get rid of, because the steaming, the, the damp hot air gets rid of the respirable particles but steaming doesn't leach the nutrients because you're not soaking the hay, but also the very high temperatures kills the bacteria and mold. What we call the post-soaked liquor from soaking is, is very nasty actually. It's got a very high, what we call biological oxygen demand, which means that it's, it's, a, it's a pollutant. It's equivalent actually to raw sewage. What you're doing with a homemade steamer is you're heating the hay up a little bit you are put, putting some moist um, air into the, or moist um, water vapour into the hay, but it doesn't reach the high temperatures. And in fact, you can actually act as an incubator. So what you do is increase the number of bacteria that are growing in there instead of killing them. Well, the spike mechanism is actually key to the hay gain success because um, the spikes are what injects, if you like, or pushes, forces steam up into the bale. The steam gets pushed evenly throughout the bale. It gets pushed right into the centre, so the, the bale is actually steamed from the inside out. Um, but it also raises temperatures very high indeed, and that's critical for killing the bacteria and moulds.